What I have here is a flask that's got cyclohexane in it. Cyclohexane is an organic solvent. Now I've got some boiling chips in there, if you can see them, they're little black tiny rocks. And you'll see why I have boiling chips in there in a minute. Uh, but in any event, this is a liquid at room temperature, as you can see, it's a liquid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this stoppered flask up to a vacuum pump. Now when I turn the vacuum pump on, it's going to pump air out of the flask. So the pressure to which the cyclohexane is exposed is going to go dra down dramatically. So let's do that, we'll turn on the vacuum pump. Now the pressure inside that flask is going down. When pressure goes down, that means more and more vapor can escape, and eventually the liquid starts boiling. That's why the boiling chips were in there, makes this boiling process a little easier. I'm not heating this to boil, it, I am removing pressure, because the boiling point is defined as the point at which the external pressure, which is the pressure in the flask, is the same as the pressure the vapor is exerting by evaporating. So I've actually reached the boiling point even though I haven't heated this up because I've reduced the pressure. So you can reach the boiling point of a liquid by heating it, that increases its vapor pressure, or you can reach the boiling point of a liquid by reducing the external pressure so that the external pressure eventually matches the uh, vapor pressure. But now something interesting is happening. You might be able to see it, there seems to be a little bit of frost forming on the beaker. Why? Because in order to evaporate, the molecules have to go from the liquid phase to the vapor phase. In the vapor phase, they move a lot more. And so in the vapor phase, they have more kinetic energy. Now, I'm not supplying any heat to this beaker. So those molecules have to get their kinetic energy from the beaker and the liquid. So as the vapor is escaping, it's pulling energy away from the liquid. Now look what's happening. Because the liquid is getting colder, it's actually starting to freeze. A solid is forming. Now that solid is forming because as the vapor escapes, it takes energy with it, which cools down the liquid. And eventually the liquid gets cold enough to reach its freezing point. So I am essentially boiling this liquid in order to freeze it. And that may seem surprising to you, but in fact, boiling takes energy away. And if I don't supply any extra energy by putting any heat there, then as the boiling process takes energy away, the rest of the liquid gets cooler. Now we're actually at a very interesting state here. This is called the triple point of cyclohexane because we're at a point where all three phases exist simultaneously. I've got the solid phase, you see the solid forming there. I've got the liquid phase, you can still see it bubbling, and I've got the gas phase, the bubbles that are forming. So this is the triple point of cyclohexane, the one combination of temperature and pressure where all three phases exist simultaneously. Every substance has a triple point. Cyclohexanes is fairly convenient and easy to reach, and that's why I'm using it in this demonstration. So this will actually sit at the triple point for a long time, but eventually I will have vaporized all of the liquid. And at that point things get cold enough and the pressure goes down even more, then in the end I go way beyond the triple point and everything there is solid. But right now I'm, I've got all three phases in existence, so in the end I have boiled this liquid in order to freeze it. And if I turn this to the camera a little bit, you might be able to see the liquid or the uh, solid and liquid together a little better. Um, so, that's the triple point of cyclohexane. Now, if I turn the vacuum off and remove it to let air back in, now I'm going back to normal room temperature and pressure. So what happens to the solid? It starts to melt. And so if I leave this here long enough, I'll eventually go back to what I had to begin with, just a flask full of liquid cyclohexane and those boiling chips.